Hi, this is Charlie Calvert, and I'm here to talk some about running Python scripting on the Internet Information Server. I'm on a Windows 7 machine, and you can see I've got the Internet Information Services Manager up here, and I've set up a website called MockP270, and if we want to, we can browse it here on the web. You can see it's set up on port 8088, okay? or if we want to we could explore it using the Windows Explorer and you can see the directory that it's in I'm on the C drive over here in the public documents area I've created this folder and inside of there I've got a, a simple HTML file there's also you might have noticed a little JavaScript in there that that just happens to be part of this folder it's not playing a role in what we're doing here at all so let's make sure that we do have um, CGI installed on the system since we um, aren't going to get very far without that. So we'll bring up the control panel and I'll come over here to programs and I'll choose turn Windows features on and off and that brings up this little dialog here <clears throat> and we'll open up the Internet Information Services, the World Wide Web Services, Application Development Features, and you can see that I do have CGI turned on on my system, and if you don't have it turned on yet, you should do the same thing, so that CGI is running on your system. Then that's all you need to do with that tool, so you can go ahead and close that. We'll go back here now into the Internet Information servers, Services, and you can see that um, right now we've got one folder called Back here right now, and I, I'm just going to go over here to the Windows Explorer and I'm going to create a new folder <clears throat> and I'm going to call that folder CGI bin which is the traditional name for folders that are used for this purpose uh, for running scripts for any type of script but in our case Python script in particular when we come back in here we don't see that folder right away so we right click and choose refresh and now there's our folder now we want to set up that folder as an application, okay? And the application that we'll run is Python. So we click on this node, the top node, the one that where we want to set the application up on, and we choose Add Application. And then we browse to a particular path, and we'll go out there to the uh, um, place where we've set up this folder, and we'll select it and now you can see that folder on the C drive and the public documents is set up um, choosing and we'll call this thing alias we'll keep that traditional name of CGI bin here running so now when we're done you can see that this directory has got a special look it's set up as an application now we need to in Inside of that, we need to tell the Internet Information Services that this application is going to run Python scripts. So we want to set up what's called a handler mapping. So this node is selected over here in the connections pane, and I select handler mappings here, and I bring up this particular view, and I choose add script map, way up here on the upper right-hand corner. I choose add script map and it's looking for a path which is uh, sort of an odd name for it but what they want is what types of files do we want to when we see Python files and we want this request to be fulfilled now we need to find the executable that we're working with here's where I've installed Python and by default it looks for DLLs so we tell it to look for EXEs see by default over here it was looking for DLLs we tell it look for EXEs and here's our python.exe so we choose that so now that's set up then it wants little percent s's percent s I believe for handling parameters here and down here we say what kind of a mapping we're setting up and this is our Python mapping so we give it a name and we click on OK and then it says do we want to deal with ISAPI um, extensions and we don't in our case so now we've had this new node that we've added here and when we did that it's sort of interesting to see what was happening behind the scenes um, this web.config file was open was created and if you look at it you can see that it has all the information we just passed into it here's our Python Python to DXE with pass so in other words it's this web config file that um, that really ends up being the tool that that tells IIS do something special in this directory that's exactly the same way that URL rewriting works it 
things get configured inside this directory. If you want to change your default extension, it's these web config files that hold that kind of information. You are well rewriting um, <coughs> default uh, file, or in this case, our Python scripting um, CGI information is being done right here. So now, the next thing we want to do is create a script of some kind. So I'm going to select my editor of choice here. <coughs> And right here, I'm going to bring up uh, Notepad++. And I've got here a simple script, um, a Python script. And as you can see up here, I declare it's got an extension of .py. It's got, uh, it links in the Python files. I print out what kind of file, um, text file I'm going to create here. It's a text.html, set the content type. I put in an HTML, a head section, a title, body. I put in an H1 node, P node here, close my body tag, close my HTML tag, and you can see I use the Python print command for each of these to output all of this to the console, which is being redirected, of course, across uh, an HTTP server and out to your browser. So I'll go ahead and I'll save this simple script here into the directory where we've been working, which is, um, as you recall, it was right here in our Mach 270. Here's our CGI bin directory. And I'll just call this thing um, my Python script.py. So now if I uh, look inside my directory, there's my script. And then over here, I've got my HTML file. Now, we've got a number of choices about how we um, create a link to this file. I'm going to do it in Expression Web. That's just my editor of choice here. Um, it doesn't matter. You could do it all play in a plain text editor, however you want to set up the link. So I'm editing default.html inside some random editor here. And what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and I'll just type in run Python script and then what you want to do is set that up as a hyperlink that goes to your py file to your Python script and I'll go ahead and go to the CGI bin directory choose my Python script and now you can see what I've got here I've got an H uh, anchor tag with an href pointing at my Python script relative to the current directory and um, then I'm fine here now I'm just going to run, uh, I'm going to load up Chrome, which is the default browser right now in Expression Web when, it, when I go test with it. And you can see I've gone to localhost 8088 default.html. Everything looks the same except we've added this tag, which now points at the Python script. And if I click on it, there it ran our Python script. And here's the output that we would expect to see. If you think about it, let's look here for a second back at our notepad++. Here's the content that's being printed out. It says H1 is a first CGI example in Hello CGI World. And we could maybe modify it slightly from Python here. And we'll come back and refresh our script by pressing F5. And there's our script. It's running. Everything's set up. And we're working. And now we can go to town and start writing Python scripts. And they'll run uh, smoothly here. Uh, notice that I am running on off localhost 8088. Um, for those of you who do happen to be interested in um, Expression Web, and as I say, the editor you choose here is your choice. In Expression Web, you would go to Site Settings and Preview and point it at localhost 8088 so that when you press F12, it'll run it not as a file. Um, you don't want that file slash 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 business in your you in your um, browser showing up in your browser. Instead, you want it to say localhost up here. All right. That's so all I wanted to say. My name is Charlie Calvert again. What we're doing here is just hacking around a little bit with IIS, with Python, with HTML, CSS, and we'll keep doing this later in another movie. Thank you so much for watching and have fun with this uh, technology.